Hey everybody, welcome back. Uh, one of the days we're gonna, one of the things we're going to be doing today is putting uh, some braided hose uh, ends together. Uh, the last hose that I was using had some pretty uh, bad fuel smell seepage through it, so we're just going to go ahead and replace all the lines. Um, and I'll show you how to do that. It's pretty simple. Um, really helps with high pressure hose. You can use it uh, for you know power steering, although you're going to use a different kind of hose uh, for it that withstands a little bit more pressure, but. For standard fuel lines and oil pressure lines, uh, this stuff's pretty good. This is the stuff from Earl's, um, and I've got uh, one of their straight dash six fittings, which is the appropriate size. Now, uh, you want to get as clean as a cut on this thing as you can. I like to use a grinder. Um, cuts through it pretty smooth and pretty quick. So, uh, real simple. There's two pieces to this. Focus. There we go. No, focus. There we go. Try this again. Yeah. Okay, so there's two pieces to it, and it's going to just keep unfocusing and refocusing like that because it's stupid. It's two pieces, like so. And on the inside of here, you can see it's threaded just on the inside there. So what we're going to do, we're going to take it, kind of squeeze it in there a little bit, and turn. Just keep turning until we feel it sink in there a little bit. Now you can kind of see the the hose right there. There we go. We don't want it all the way up here because then you won't be able to get your your other side in. Real simple though. We're gonna take it. We're gonna put it straight in the vise. Uh, you don't have to do it straight in the vise right away. Um, sometimes you can get it started with your hands, sometimes you like to shove it in real hard and give it a quick couple turns. And when I can't turn with my hands anymore, throw it in the vise, leaving just, just a smidge bit of room right there so I can tighten it down. And I'm going to cinch it all the way down. I can feel some, feel some pressure coming, so that means it's in there. It means that fitting's getting really good in there. Uh, they make special fittings for these. I've never needed them, frankly. Uh, you know, it scratches them up, but frankly, I mean, you know, one of these or a regular box end wrench works just fine. So there you go. That's all there is to it. You gotta do one on the other side to match the other side, but really it takes, you know, less than a minute if you get pretty good at it. Thanks for watching.